This quick video will show you how to format your MLA paper before you upload it to Moodle. Once your paper has been written, reviewed, and edited, you're ready for the finishing touches. A lot of what we're going to be using involves using the features that you can find up here in the task bar or what other people call the ribbon. You can see here that the paper has been written in 12 point Times New Roman font, which is perfect and exactly what you need. While we're up here, we can also check the margins by selecting Page Layout, Margins, and then we can see that Normal has been selected with one inch on each side, top, bottom, left, and right. Since this is an MLA paper, no cover page is necessary. Instead, on the first page in the top left corner, include your first and last name, the name of the instructor, the name of the course, the number, and the section number, if relevant. Then include the date that you're making the submission. You can see on this line the title of the paper. This needs to be centered, so highlight this title and then return to the taskbar and select the center, center button. In MLA style, there needs to be an indent on the first sentence of each paragraph. So simply place your cursor to the left of the first word and select the tab button on your keyboard. While you're here, you can see that there's spaces included in between the paragraphs, which is also not necessary in MLA style. So highlight this entire text, return to the taskbar, select the line and paragraph spacing button, and select remove space after paragraph. Since all the text is still highlighted, Return to line and paragraph spacing and select 2.0 to make sure that your task text is double spaced. Next you want to include your page numbers. Return to the taskbar, select insert, and then select page number. Select top of page. In this case I'll select it so that the page numbers appear in the top right hand corner of the page. And you can see it started at 1, goes to 2, 3, and so on. I'm now going to close the header and footer. This is the Works Cited page. Works Cited is at the top of the page and it needs to be centered as well. So highlight that and then select Center. So for this Works Cited, it needs to be in alphabetical order and there needs to be a hanging indent for each of these. You can easily format this paper by highlighting the text on your Works Cited page and putting it in alphabetical order by once again going to the taskbar, selecting the Sort button, A to Z, select OK, and you can see that everything's been put in alphabetical order. Now to include the hanging indent for these citations, simply select Control T and the indent has been formatted for you. The final thing that I'd like to show you is how to convert your Word document to a PDF file. In the corner select File, then select Save As. You can save the document wherever it makes sense for you. You can see that it automatically will suggest saving it as a Word document again. Select the down arrow and you can see that PDF is on the list. Then name the paper or the file, whatever makes the most sense for you and the instructor to keep track of later on. I would suggest using your last name and then the title of the paper. Select save and the PDF will appear. So here you have your paper written with the MLA style, no cover page, one inch margins, times New Roman 12 point font in a PDF file. I hope this helps.